FBI is warning us about a drug that is so potent you could die just by touching it. Agents told us this drug has caused nearly 20 deaths across the metro area. Channel 2's investigative reporter Mark Winnie is live at GBI headquarters in South DeKalb County. And Mark, you talked to the chemist who discovered this deadly composition. That is correct. And this is not the drug. This is flour. Because I'm told if it were that much through my skin could kill me. We're told this box contains eight kilos of either furanol fentanyl or that drug mixed with another drug. This is a graphic example of the danger, as one deputy reminded us, of what happens when you take a drug, you get off the street. You may think you're putting one, si one thing in your body and it's something else that could kill you like that. We were in shock, and we knew we had to take action. The GBI says in the lab it's called furanol fentanyl, and it's a chemical cousin of fentanyl, a drug-killing heroin addicts across America. But you could also call furanol fentanyl death in pill or powder form because it's killing people across Georgia. This is a devastating trend. The GBI says furanol fentanyl deaths have been popping up all over Georgia, 19 total in 2016 and 2017, but 11 of those in the barely more than four months so far this year. The officers who conduct this type of work, they put themselves in harm's way every day. Gwinnett County Sheriff's Deputy Shannon Volkadoff says one night in January, members of the Gwinnett Metro Task Force faced a danger beyond bullets when they raided a clandestine drug factory hidden in a storage unit. There was an arrest in this case. She says officers found both powder and pills in the drug lab and three pill presses and that whomever was running it was embossing with a numerical code for oxycodone, a widely abused pain pill. But state crime lab official Deneen Kilcree says chemist Charlonda Dennis discovered samples from the Gwinnett operation were not oxycodone but contained furanol fentanyl. Oxycodone to touch it is still going to be very safe. To touch furanol fentanyl could absolutely be lethal. Just through the skin. Just through the skin. The GBI's Nellie Miles says the lab alerted GBI higher ups about the Gwinnett case, prompting a search of records that turned up the 19 deaths. And late Wednesday night, a warning went out to police around the state. No way to know right now, Deputy Volkadoff says, if the Gwinnett dope caused any of the deaths. And when I found out what I actually had, um, definitely a little scared because of the amount that was submitted. Anything could have happened. Um, but luckily, with the protective gear and the staff that I have surrounding me, um, everything went okay. Ms. Miles says, reminder to police, you know, your drug test kit may say it's negative for known drugs, but it's a reminder you need to keep your protective gear on. And she also tells me that the legislature passed a new law this year. The governor just recently signed it into law, making furanol fentanyl illegal in Georgia. Now that uh, Gwinnett Metro Task Force, I'm told, is comprised of deputies from the Gwinnett County Sheriff's Office, officers from Lilburn, Lawrenceville, Duluth, and Swanee Police Departments. Reporting live inside the GBI Crime Lab, Mark Winnie, Channel 2 Action News.